My name is Sarah and my husband is a senior lance corporal in the British Army. This week, the entire British Army has been told to pause for six hours and take a long hard look at themselves and reflect on inclusivity. General Sir Mark Carlton Smith and his sidekick Mr Tickle got a bollock in last year from the Defence Secretary amid fears of a discipline crisis. Unacceptable behaviours are anything that falls short of values and standards, but some people are taking the piss and shout service complaint at the first sight of robustness. This tree-hugging day has been called Op Teamwork, and we all know there's no I in team, just eat and me. The definition of a military operation is the coordinated military actions of a state in response to a developing situation. It should be called op compulsory attendance unless you're on a mission or essential operational duties or you've got a bone in your leg or a note from your mum or you might get offended. But that's not as catchy, is it? Ex-Colonel Richard Kemp called it navel-gazing. Good old dick. What he actually meant to say was, you can still kill someone with your bayonet but you can't call them unfat and the world's gone fucking mad. Maybe try installing suggestion boxes in HQs where suggestions like, Dear Army, I suggest you get on with some army work and stop trying to please everyone. Remember when the army used to kill people for a living? I miss that army. There's no job satisfaction anymore. I've done some reflecting of my own and I've concluded that the army has included some people that make it weaker. I'm all for progression, but let the army be the army. You can't tell a shark to stop being a shark. Putin doesn't mess about and neither should we. Albert Einstein once said, if I were to remain silent, I'd be guilty of complicity. Pipe up, sure, but remember, you're a soldier and not the type that you dip in an egg.